Location sponsorship generously provided by Eric's Church Bar and Grill with karaoke every Thursday night at 7 until 10. And Champion Sports Bar with karaoke Sunday, Monday, and Thursday nights, 9 till close, and Wednesday nights, 10 till close. Welcome back, everyone. This is week three of Maine Karaoke Idol. Big difference today, we're going live in studio. We want to take a little time right now to thank all of our contestants. We want to thank the good people at Champions Bar in Biddeford, Maine, and Eric's Church in Wyndham, Maine, and we want to thank the millions watching at home. We're going to do it a little different this week. We're going to call it Cut Week. We're going live tonight and tomorrow. Your vote still counts, but we're also adding the vote of three local legend judges who are live in studio with me that I would like to introduce right now. Our first judge, Mr. Melvin Gratis. This man, you guys are supposed to clap, live studio audience. <laughs> Sorry, we have some rookies in the house. Um, Melvin is a, uh, grew up in Miami, Florida. He fell in love with music at a young age. Uh, he is, I wrote it down, because he's multi-talented. He's a singer, songwriter, multi-instrumental, audio engineer, producer, I could go on and on. Uh, he's a dedicated musician who has already recorded a lot of his own songs, and he's looking forward to working with other artists, possibly our contestants tonight. We'll see what happens. Our next judge is Miss Karen Brian. <laughs> Karen started out as a model and she founded Port City Models. Uh, she splits her time between Portland and New York where she uh, books models for New York City Fashion Week. She was named one of Portland's most influential women, a mother of two, and she really looks to uh, find her client's full potential. So if you want to impress her, tonight's the night. And if you want to uh, judge my outfit later, just let me know. And last but not least, Mr. Kelly Lawrence. Oh, Kelly started out as a drummer, but you can't put Kelly in a box. So Mr. Lawrence jumped to the front and he led several bands, specifically Bates Motel, where they uh, toured up and down the East Coast, pictured Larry jumping off speakers, uh, clad in leather, um, hitting the beer bong pretty hard. And then he turned 40 and he traded it all in for a tuxedo and uh, Frank Sinatra. So we're glad to have Larry here with us tonight. He's gonna be our uh, Simon Cowell, I would say. So, good luck. Um, without further ado, we would like to start with our first contestant of the night, Mr. Justin Haycock. How are you doing? Justin Haycock here. Grew up in Clinton, Maine, just a little town as you're headed to Bangor. Uh, I'll be singing Thunder Rolls tonight, and I like it because it's Garth Brooks, anything Garth Brooks is for me. It's old school country, which is what I love, so. Be 
blazing by the telephone in her faded flannel gown. Asking for a miracle, but hoping she's not right. And praying it's the weather that's kept him out all night. And the thunder rolls. And the thunder rolls. And the lightning strikes. Another love grows cold on the sleepless night. out to hold him thankful he's alive but all the wind and the rain a strange new perfume blows and the lightning flashes in her eyes and he knows that she knows and the thunder rolls and the thunder rolls the thunder Stay right on this mic, all right? How do we feel? Feeling good, feeling good. That's it? Better, better. Better, okay. Now it's over. Well, now that uh, now that you sang, I think we got to go to our uh, judges here to see what they thought. We'll start with Mr. Melvin. Well, I think you did a great job. You, you should be happy with the, with the way your voice sounded with that song. That's one of the things I'm very curious about is how everyone's voice is going to be with their song choice. They melded in really well together. And since I'm the fashion expert, I just want to say, supposedly, I just want to say you look very chic, very hip look, very great fit on the clothing, which makes people look like a million bucks. So I say keep it up. Love the earring. Very hip. You're hip. Very hip indeed. Very rich, syrupy voice, very convincing, telling the story. You might want to keep your hands out of your pocket. Hands are part of the deal. That's part of the thing in your body. You move with the body. But other than that, your voice, you killed it. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Justin. Get on out of here. <laughs> and... Uh... We're going to jump right into our next contestant, Rapid Fire here. Are you ready to go, Brittany? Come on down, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brittany. She's doing Sarah McLaughlin. Hi, I'm Brittany Hoglin. I'm from Wyndham, Maine, and the song choice that I'm singing tonight is Angel by Sarah McLaughlin. The reason why I'm singing it is because back in 2016, I lost my daughter, so the song means a lot to me, and it's dedicated to her. Spend all your time waiting for that second chance A break that would make it okay There's always some reason to feel not good enough And it's hard at the end of the day
so tired of the straight line and every way you turn. There's vultures and thieves at your back. The storm keeps on twisting. You keep on building the lies that make up for all that you lack. Don't make no difference. Brittany, how'd it go? Great. Were you nervous? <laughs> Just a little, <laughs> but it's good. All right. Well, I think you might have inspired uh, anyone watching to go out and adopt a dog or a cat after that song. So let's, uh, let's take it over to the judges and see what they think. Definitely thought it was a very smart choice of song with your voice. It matched the dynamics that that song required really well. So great job on that it was it's like a little song that's the back of my mind and, and you, you played it really well thank you yes and i thought you did a beautiful job i love sarah mclaughlin and what i liked is i thought you looked i liked the smile at the beginning you look relaxed i mean i'm sure you weren't it's very i understand how difficult it is to get up there but i just keep keep the smiles up and the relaxed manner and it that'll get stronger and stronger and love the, the voice. Beautiful, 100% from the heart. Brought a tear to my eye because it was f sung at my partner's funeral of all things, which was uh, quite a tear trigger, but uh, beautifully done, very sincere. You might want to use a little more diaphragm. You've got a beautiful voice, push it from the heart, get a little more from the diaphragm, put it out, beautiful voice. Thank you, thank you judges. Thank you, Brittany. We'll be back after this quick commercial break. Location sponsorship generously provided by Eric's Church Bar and Grill with karaoke every Thursday night at 7 until 10. And Champion Sports Bar with karaoke Sunday, Monday, and Thursday nights 9 till close and Wednesday nights 10 till close. Join our first two contestants. Oh, Make you. sure uh, you guys go and vote at pmcwatch.com because your vote counts. The judges does too, but, I mean, you're the audience. You're the most important ones. I don't know. I guess. Next up, we have Carissa. Come on down. You ready? Hi. My Take it over. Here's the thing. We started our friends. It was cool, but it was all pretend. Yeah, yeah, since you've been gone. You're dedicated, you took the time. It wasn't long till I called you mine. Yeah, yeah, since you've been gone. 
And all you'd ever hear me say is how I picture me with you. That's all you'd ever hear. All right. Good after Carissa. Uh, due to a little technical difficulty, we're actually going to play a little clip real quick of an interview that we did uh, of Carissa before this. So before we go to the judges, go ahead. Hi, my name is Carissa. I'm from Gray, Maine, and I'm going to be singing Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. Um, it's one of my favorite songs by her. And she's always been like a big part of my life since I was young. Yeah. All right, we're back with Carissa. How'd you feel? All right. All right. <laughs> How come you picked that song? Um, because Kelly Clarkson is awesome. She is. And the reason why I started singing. And the first winner of American Idol, I believe, right? Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. I don't know if that's an omen or it was written, but let's go over to the judges. Yeah, that was a great choice of song. Really enjoyed how you played with the dynamics with that. When that chorus came in, you were, you made sure we were right there with it and brought the energy needed for the song. So I enjoyed that. Um, I just wanted to say, I think you did a nice job with your selection, your outfit and makeup. And uh, the only thing I could think of, like to look a little less, ner less nervous, like I am, just maybe Move your hands even more as you get into I'm just trying to think of something constructive to tell you instead of holding them so close. That's one tip to work on. But you look great. Yeah, it started out as a flame, turned into a bonfire. Great, great eyes. Could maybe put a little bit more body into it, but it was very, very well done. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Krista. Round of applause. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Our next contestant, we have Sonia. Come on down. Hi, I'm Sonia from Saco, Maine. I'm here representing Champion Sports Bar. The song I'm gonna sing tonight is Feeling Good and it's the Avicii version. 
and I'm singing it because I am feeling good and we should all be feeling good and singing about it is the best. Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky in that one i liked it <laughs> how'd it go for you feeling good i mean that's what the song says so you picked the right one i think beautiful we love it and the audience loved it and let's see what the judges thought well definitely loved it. i love seeing the mic control and how conscious we were with your dynamics how you brought us into the song and once the song hit everything worked so well and really enjoy how how you can be so soft and sweet and then go from the gun and that, that was very enjoyable to see. I thought the same thing, similar thing. Love the leather jacket and that, that look. And you got much more relaxed as as the song went on and more into it and more body movement and did a great job. Extremely good. Great work, great diaphragm, great movement, great work with the microphone. Open your eyes. That's where the excitement is. Look at the people. That's what you're selling. Great job, though. Excellent job. Yeah, I know, I know it well. It's all about the crowd. You worked it. All right, thank you, Sonia. Thank you, judges. And we will be back after these messages. My wife, I love her. 
I hate her. She can eat anything and not gain a pound. Now she's drinking my Diet 7-Up because this taste test proved it tastes better than the other leading diet drinks. Great. Now people who can drink anything are drinking all the Diet 7-Up. Is that fair? There'll be shortages, rationing. Want some ice cream, honey? No thanks, dear. I hate her. Only one taste is so good. Diet 7-Up. Welcome back. We hope you are enjoying our contestants so far. We actually have a little special treat for you. We're going to be debuting one of our judges' uh, videos uh, for a song that he wrote and performed. So if you want to tell the people a little bit about the song, and then we can cut to it. Yeah. Um, so the song I believe we're going to be doing is called Get Yours. It's a song that I wrote, I want to say, a couple of years ago. However, I got a chance to record with Luigi in the studio, the music video. It's about to premiere. It's one of those songs where everything was mixed and produced. And uh, for this for this specific version, I think I got to give a shout out to my friend, Preston Fisher. Um, I I had him do the final master. So it's one of the few things I, I didn't see everything completely um, and really enjoyed how it came out. So we'll see how that goes. Perfect. Let's see what the people think. Back. All right, let's keep this thing going. We get another contestant just rearing to go over here. He's down in a three point stance, ready to run to this microphone. Next up is Jeff. Come on down, buddy. 
Hi, I'm Jeff Schumacher from Springvale. Uh, I'm doing a song called Sweet Caroline today because it's a lot of fun and lots of people love it. Go something like this. Jeff, Jeff, if I close my eyes, I could almost smell the Fenway Franks How about it? and taste the $22 12-ounce beer. Can you imagine? <laughs> Let's see what the judges thought. Take it away, judges. Love the way how you got up there, got the microphone, had your cable, and you had such control of your pitch. You matched the song perfectly with your pitch and your timbre, so I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I can only say you seem totally relaxed and did a great job. And it was a perfect song for you. I remember seeing Neil Diamond in person sing that song <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> yes, so great job. Big burly guy doing such a sweet song. You're a credit to the male gender. Well done. <laughs> we'll take that all day. Yes. All right. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Final contestant of the night is DJ Billy the Kid. 
He's going to come up here. All right. My name's DJ Philly the Kid. I'm from Arundel, Maine. Grew up in Arundel. I now live in Saco, but I am a DJ at Champion Sports Bar in Bedford, Maine. I'm going to be singing Little Moments by Brad Paisley, and I'm singing it for my fiance. Um, I'm not saying it for anybody else, but I'm just here to uh, participate. I don't care if I win or lose, but I love my fiance and that's why I'm here. Well, I'll never forget the first time that I heard that pretty mild saying that dirty word. She backed my truck into Well, she covered her mouth And her face got red And she just looked so darn cute That I could Even act like I was mad Philly the Kid. Is your, uh, is your old lady in the audience tonight? Let's give her a shout out. You're a lucky lady. Stud. All right, let's go to the judges, see what they think. I thought that that was very touching. That was a great dedication. And, and it's one of those songs that your timbre for that song matched really well. It was very sweet, and I think you handled it emotionally very well. And I think you did a great job because. It was very heartfelt, the sentiment behind it. You put your all into it, and we could tell. So great job. Spectacular. From the heart, sincere, and I wish you and your fiancé many, many, many years and beautiful children. You're well on your way.
I think we're all wondering too if he's going to sing it to her at their wedding. <laughs> Will she allow it? <laughs> well, we all say yes, right? Yes. Crowd, do it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, judges. Thank you, DJ Philly, the kid. And we are going to take a quick commercial break. See you soon. <laughs> Big cheeses have more cheeses. Big cheeses have more cheeses. Big cheeses have more for you to love. It's a triple taste treat that can't be beat. Yay! Burger King introduces the Big Cheese, Swiss Jack and American on a flame broiled burger. There is more for you to love. Because we do it like you to do it at Burger King. Okay, we're back after that TJ Maxx ad. Uh, quick little recap. So don't forget, portlandmedia.org slash vote to pick your favorites tonight. We had Justin, Brittany, let's check the order, Carissa, Sonia, Jeff, and DJ Philly, the kid. Uh, we're going to end the show tonight with um, one of our guests. He didn't know he was doing this, but we're going to make him sing a song. So come on up, Mr. Kelly. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to go? Power through it. You got this. It's up, it's down. Little volume all around. That's all. I can help you. You get back to your seat, all right? <laughs> so now what we're going to do is have all the contestants come up and judge you, okay? No, nah, just kidding. 
But we are going to go to the judges. And we want you to give us a little recap of how you think the night went and the singers. And uh, <laughs> just let us know what you thought. Yeah. Um, Marvin, over- you go first. Yeah. Overall, uh, Melvin. Over- Jesus. No worries. Uh, overall, I can't give enough props to everyone here. Everyone got up there. It's amazing with their with their song choices. And I think everyone should be proud on what they did. Um, so thank you for doing that. And I, <laughs> I completely agree with Melvin. I know how difficult it is to go up on stage in, when you know you're on live TV. That's, that's a huge, huge difference. Um, and I thought you all did a great job. And every time, just doing this once will give you the confidence that, oh, next time, I, you know, as you move forward in the next round, uh, you'll be much more relaxed and kill it more. So great job. Great talent, art, music, theater, express yourself, all the horrible things that people do in the world and they're forgiven. You got nothing to worry about. Get out there, don't worry about it, don't be afraid. Just let it let your freak flag fly. And it was great. Very well done, everybody. Great advice. I think that's the best advice you could have given. Uh thank you, judges. And we are gonna do a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Join Luigi every Friday night at 9 till 11, Friday p.m. Guests, music, excitement. It's all the fun you can have on a Friday night, and it's live. Friday p.m., live every Friday night, 9 till 11, pmcwatch.com, cable channel 5, Portland, Maine. You guys had as much fun as we did tonight. I'd like to thank all of our contestants. I'd like to thank our judges. Don't forget to vote at portlandmedia.org forward slash vote. Uh, We will be announcing who's moving forward from this group tomorrow because we'll be right back here live in studio for our next group of eight. So tune in at nine o'clock and uh, we'll see you there. Thanks, everyone.